Hi, I'm Steve Good. Welcome to the Scroll Saw Workshop. Over the months since I've been making these videos and posting them on my blog, I've tried to show different types of scroll saw work, uh, uh, from making clocks to how to design the patterns to different types of inlay, uh, basically anything I could think of to take someone who's new to scroll sawing and show them that there's uh, actually quite a bit that you can do with it other than just fret work. And today what I'd like to do is, is uh, take another step in that direction and what we're going to do is we're going to do a little scroll saw work on metal. Now in this case I'm just using some hobby uh, craft metal that I found at a craft store but you could do this in copper or other types of metal also even silver. I've even seen people take um, silver spoons and flatten them out and use that to make jewelry and there's quite a few things you could do with this. You could make ornaments, Christmas tree ornaments look nice. Obviously if you were using silver or even this you could make jewelry and what I'm going to do today is just take you through the steps that I use to uh, cut metal. Now I, I go probably a little overboard and then I cover both sides of the metal with uh, plywood because I don't like the metal shavings flying around so I cover it up pretty good. So I'm going to take you through that process today and we'll make a little uh, uh, scorpion here and uh, you'll be able to download the pattern off the website at uh, www.scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com Okay, let's get started. Okay, here's the materials you're going to need for this project today. Uh, like I talked uh, earlier, you're going to need some type of metal either copper or in this case I believe this is just aluminum, uh, just some kind of sheet metal that I got at a craft store. I'm also going to use two uh, pieces of uh, 1 8 inch plywood and I'll sandwich the metal between these two like this and what we'll do is we'll tape this up real good, apply the pattern to the top piece of the wood and that's how we'll cut it. And the reason I do this is just to keep the metal from uh, splintering so bad and the shavings flying all over the place. So similar to how uh, you've seen me cut the puzzle patterns before, but in this case we're just going to sandwich the metal and cut it. And the other thing you'll need of course is the pattern uh, off of the website. Cut the pattern down to size and I'm going to go ahead and apply some spray adhesive just like we do on all the other scroll saw projects that we do. And we'll give it a good coating here and go ahead and apply it to one of the pieces of plywood. And now what we're going to do is sandwich the metal and the plywood and we'll tape it up real good and then we'll take it to the scroll saw. Okay, to keep everything in the register while we're cutting, I'm going to take the clear box tape and we're going to go ahead and tape uh, completely around this pattern front to back. And this can be a little tricky, you kind of got to hold everything together while you're taping it up. But get uh, one piece started and then just go ahead and tape it all the way around. And uh, get everything good and flat before you put the next piece on. And we'll go ahead and do that around the rest of the pattern, both in this direction and in this direction to make sure we got a good seal. I finished putting the tape all the way around the sandwich we've got here and of course I've got the pattern on there. I am going to go ahead and take it over to the drill press and uh, make an entry hole and uh, then we'll get started. Over here at the scroll saw now I'm going to talk a minute about the blade I'm going to use to uh, cut this pattern. I'm going to use a number two jeweler's blade to cut this. Um, basically if you go to uh, any of the uh, scroll saw sites that sell scroll saw blades, you want to look for a metal cutting blade. Uh, Mike's Workshop at mikesworkshop.com is where I bought these jeweler's blades. I'm not sure that he still sells these, but I know he has some uh, metal cutting blades, so uh, that's where you want to go to uh, find the blade. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, install one of these blades and then we'll begin to cut. I've got my number two jeweler's blade installed now and I've gone ahead and uh, penetrated the entry hole with it. Um, on this particular uh, project, there's no uh, interior cuts to make, so it'll just be one exterior cut. Uh, so it should be uh, reasonably easy to cut out. Um, I'm going to uh, slow the speed of my scroll saw down considerably because these jeweler's blades uh, are very fine and they break very easy. So uh, it's rare that I break blades in projects, uh, but with these, it's not rare. It happens pretty frequently, so 
uh, I usually just expect to go ahead and go through a few of these blades while I'm cutting these patterns. So with that, let's go ahead and see if we can break a few. Another thing you can notice is that uh, because I've sandwiched this metal between these two pieces of 1 8 inch uh, plywood, I'm not having any problem holding the project, and I'm also not scratching my tabletop with the metal, uh, which is another reason why I always sandwich the metal in the plywood. Went ahead and zoomed in pretty close there uh, because I want to show the cutting. I keep getting requests through email to, that I don't show close enough, close up enough shots of the cutting. So that's about as close as I can get right there. Fingers so close to the blade, there's the pattern starting to lift a little bit on me because these uh, cuts are so close together. So I'm just using my finger beside and behind the blade to hold the pattern down a little better. I don't know if you can see what's happening right there, but uh, where I didn't get the tape very flat on the pattern, the uh, metal shavings are starting to come up through and uh, they're uh, making the line that I'm cutting kind of hard to see. So uh, when you put the pattern on, take your time, go ahead and get the tape as flat as you can, and that'll help keep this from happening. If I got one more leg to cut here, then we'll be in the home stretch. There's a broken blade. Didn't quite get all the way through the project, but uh, farther than I thought we would. So we'll put in another blade and we'll probably go back and cut another uh, entry hole and uh, finish this cut. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the video off here now, finish this cut, and then I'll show you the final project. Okay, a couple of broken blades later, uh, I've got this piece cut out. Now we'll take it back over to the workbench and uh, I'll show you what we've got. This back over to the workbench. I'm going to go ahead and pull it apart and uh, we'll see what we ended up with. So go ahead and just uh, kind of gently take this thing out because you don't want to bend it up until we're ready to bend it. And also, by the way, if, uh, if you wanted to, you could use these uh, uh, plywood for some kind of decoration on the top of a box or whatever. But uh, here's the metal piece we've got cut out. Hopefully, you'll be able to see this. I'm going to zoom in just as much as I possibly can here. And you'll see that uh, we've got this cut out. Now you may want to take a small file and go ahead and uh, smooth these edges. This one actually feels pretty good. But now what I'm going to do with this project is go ahead and uh, bend this tail up a little bit. Like you would typically see a scorpion in the wild. I'm going to go ahead and put a little curve in that. And then I'm going to take these legs and each one of them, I'm going to bend them down just a little bit. I'm going to bend the little claws up a little bit. And then take the bottom part of the leg and bend it back out just a little bit. And you may have to play with this a little bit to get it to stand up the way you want. But uh, I'm going to need to bend these front legs down just a bit. Make him stand up here like I want him to. And once you play with this a little bit and get him where you want him to be, then you're going to have yourself a nice standing little scorpion uh, that make a nice little decoration to uh, put on your desk or whatever. 
So uh, there's the finished project. Just another technique that you can use at the scroll saw. Uh, let you cut metal and uh, use it for whatever you would like, either as decorations on another project or just jewelry. When I put the pattern up on the website, uh, I'll try to include a few different patterns that you could cut out like this uh, for you to play with. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you next time here at the Scroll Saw Workshop.